What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday fun day. We found a new spot over here. This is, uh, I think what they call the Smith Pond. And this is where they're doing all that work. Got a car wash along uh, Merrick Road there, the peninsula. Cleaning up, doing all this uh, restoration work here for drainage. And uh, there's a path that comes around the lake over there. So I started out up on uh, Peninsula Boulevard, Hempstead Lake State Park. I came around the path, came around, comes all the way through here, and they're going to continue it all the way around, I believe, which is pretty cool. Um, so this spot here, the lake's draining into here, and I guess it probably flows out to the ocean from here. And uh, that's it. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this is the back. We put that steel retaining wall in over there, the car wash the corner over there. The uh, Sonic Ultra Wash is over there behind those trees. And then you got the lily pads in here. Again, I think this is called Smith's Pond, if I uh, remember correctly. And that's the bus depot over there, the Avalon over there. And this park in the back over here, they're cleaning up. Kind of cool. This was kind of a rundown, dilapidated area, and now they're cleaning it up. But anyway, run the ride. Just got my hair cut, went so manny. Uh, since I was over here in Rockville Center, I rode, had to go to the bank, so I rode past him. He only had one person there, so we jumped in the sea, we got a haircut, and now we're here for the message of the day. So, I was listening to a podcast, uh, Pastor Rick, I listen to a lot, um, and he was talking about, um, talked about this one, there's no plan B. Our life is our plan A. Our life is God's plan for us. And everything that happens for us happens for a reason, and it's up to us, uh, what we make of it. So the pain that we go through in life... Um, God puts there and expects us to teach others how to not have that pain. So if you make mistakes in life and you learn from it, it is our duty to teach those around us not to make the same mistakes. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. Wow, look at that fish in here. Holy cow. I don't know if you guys can see them. Wow, that's insane. They're monsters. That was right. Anyway. Back to the message. So uh, all the pain that we go through in our lives, all the mistakes that we make in our lives, it is our duty to teach those around us how not to make the same mistakes, how to uh, skip the pain and skip the uh, problems that we've caused ourselves uh, and help them not to make those mistakes and help them to live a better life. Um, it's up to us to inspire everyone around us. It's up to us to do good and spread the, spread the word, spread the mission. So... Um, if you're going through something in your life and you went through something, you can share it with someone. Um, you know, maybe you can help them. Um, if you've uh, lost your job and you've been on unemployment, maybe you can help someone who recently lost their job to get a job. Um, if you've been through a divorce and someone you know is going through a divorce, maybe you can help them get through that divorce easier. Um, maybe a friend of yours, I don't know, um, maybe has uh, legal issues and uh, bankruptcy or something like that. Maybe uh, you've been through it. Maybe you can help them get through it. It's up to us to use our experiences that God has given us to help those around us get through their experiences. And I think that's kind of important. You know, one of the big things I talk about, seems like a lot of people around me getting divorced, uh, separated. Um, and when I talk to everyone uh, that is separated, they... Uh, they pretty much give anything for the world to, to make it work and to have their families back and have their life back rather than no matter how bad you thought it was uh, when you were fighting uh, if you guys just stop fighting and stop working towards a common goal start working towards your family rather than being selfish um, you probably could save a marriage save a family and save a lot of headache a lot of cost a lot of strife um, a lot of us are selfish, a lot of us are thick-headed, a lot of us don't go give, we just take. Um, it seems like a common theme for a lot, and it's obviously two parts to every side, and both people have to be willing to go give and uh, build each other up. It definitely is a two-way street. But if both people in the marriage that are struggling realize that it's struggling and realize that they're both at fault and realize that they both should be building up each other rather than taking down each other, we both they both should be supporting their spouse, putting their spouse on a pedestal, <laughs> giving to their spouse and helping them do better, um, there's a good chance that uh, maybe you can save that marriage, maybe you can save that family and avoid a lot of a lot of strife. So if you're in a marriage and you're not happy, start go giving to your spouse. 
Um, get counseling early. Don't let it drag on. Um, it's a lot easier to be together and make it work than it is to try and not be together and try and fix a lot of brokenness. So if you're cheating on your wife, you're cheating on your husband, stop. Um, figure out why you're doing that. Um, if you're getting fat and you're being lazy in a relationship, stop. Get yourself in shape. Don't be lazy. Um, be the person that your spouse wants to be with. Um, don't just be, don't just exist. A lot of people get tired and they just lay on the couch all day. And they don't do nothing. They don't take care of themselves. First thing you do when you get separated, you get divorced, what do you do? You go to the gym, you get all cleaned up, you start dressing nice, you start doing nice things, you start saying nice things. And all that effort that you're putting into that new person, you could have put into your spouse. You could have saved the marriage. You could have saved the family. You could have saved a lot of grief. You could have saved a lot of money and lawyer fees. Um, think about that. Think about that. It's better to make it work than it is to give up. So do your best to make it work. Um, everyone I talk to kind of feels the same. Now, granted, not everyone's on board with trying to make it work and trying to make a change for the better. But if you and your spouse aren't going through good times, um, talk to someone. Talk to me if you want. I can tell you what not to do. I can tell you what I screwed up. Um, I can tell you how to make it better. Um, but you both got to be willing. And you both should be willing because there's a lot of people involved. Kids, family, extended family, in-laws. Um, anyway, so in a message of making pain into a message, what God wants us to do. So there you go. Uh, my pain, my mistakes. If I can help any of you in marital issues, it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, but maybe uh, I can give you guys some pointers of what not to do. And I definitely know the mistakes that I've made my marriage so anyway i'm here to help if anyone wants to talk um no judgment your secret is safe with me i just want to help people i just want don't want people to go through pain i've been through so, all right everyone appreciate you all um i'm here for you so let's jump on prayers in the father son holy spirit amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to realize that all the pain that we go through in our lives has a purpose, and that we need to take that pain and that purpose and help everyone around us not deal with the pain. Um, Help us to spread the knowledge that we've learned every day from our experiences with those around us to make everyone's lives better and easier. Uh, amen. So there you go. There's your message. Uh, that pain you have, those experiences you've had, those mistakes you've made, share it. Help people around you. Don't keep it in. Uh, there's a purpose here. And um, be that purpose. Be that purpose. Help people in the world. Make the world a better place. It, count, it uh, starts with each one of us. And uh, together, if each one of us was making a conscious effort to make the world a better place, think about how much better the world would be. So I'm serious about that. We can change the world together if we just put some effort into it. All right, everyone. I appreciate you all. We're over here at Smith Pond in the back over here. Yeah, they're building the uh, path around here, the construction site. We've got a little waterfall going here. Kind of pretty, pretty Sunday. Uh, happy Sunday fun day. All right, everyone. God bless. Appreciate you all. And again, put your head on a pillow every night knowing you make the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Get that fire going. Let's inspire some people to do better. All right, everyone. See you soon.